Hello, it's me. I'm back. Oh, crap. I'm washing clothes and making tea. I completely forgot that the kettle was on. One second. Okay, so sorry if you can hear stuff in the background. Um, I did make a video last night, but honestly, was not in my best mood. Um, and it was just, I forgot to mention some stuff. And I also didn't notice some stuff. I, my hair is actually not okay, but <laughs> ignore that. Let's make this fun for me. So, what have I have I <laughs> had done since last video? Um, honestly, don't really remember what I said last week. It's been a long time. So basically, nothing really happened um, in this time up until now. Um, and I just felt like there was no point in making a video. And the second reason I didn't make videos is because they get a lot of dislikes and I wasn't really understanding why because I feel like people actually are curious and want to know about it so I don't really know what's going on there I think what the things that I haven't updated are that I got something that I was really dreading getting like she mentioned it my first before I got my braces and I was like please please don't make me get that thing because that's terrifying and that is the screw in my mouth um I got a screw in my mouth it's basically like a piercing. I'm basically like really badass. I get like piercings in my mouth now. I got that last month and I guess it's, it needed to like settle so she didn't do anything with it. She just put it in. Uh, something I'd like to say about that is that I like my orthodontist a lot. She's really nice. I love that she's a girl because I've only had like male dentists here and she's an orthodontist but like it's different but like I trust her. But here's how it went right. I was in the chair and she said oh um i'm gonna put a screw in your mouth and i was like excuse me <laughs> no she saw me freak out and i was like she's like okay uh like it's like this it's like this blah blah, blah. i tried to explain it to me and i was like okay something you need to understand is that i have had a fear of the dentist for a while i've had to go so many times since being in korea for my braces that i i'm kind of over it but at the same time you know how i react to everything like i'm scared of everything and everything seems to hurt me and she was like oh I've, is it like a bad i said i kind of said that i had like bad experiences in the past and that's why and she was like oh have you had bad experiences here and i was like well no but like yes kind of thing because like it always hurts when they say it's not gonna hurt and like even when they inject me it hurts so i mean it doesn't always hurt but like it hurts a little bit at some point and that like it like makes me jump and it scares me and then I get emotional and shit. Um, so she was like, have I ever done that to you? Have I ever lied to you and it's hurt you when I told you it wasn't? And I was like, no. And then she was like, okay, so trust me. And I was like, you're right though. She's right, like, is she, she's never done anything to make me not trust her. So, and she's always been very straightforward when she's doing something or like she's understood everything. So, I was like, you know what, you're completely right. Because she's been telling me that it's not going to hurt me at all. She's like, it doesn't hurt to put in. And I was like, how? <laughs> she was like, I'm going to inject you and then you'll just feel pressure or whatever. And I was like, okay, but what if the injection doesn't work completely and I feel it a little bit, that's going to freak me out that it's going inside my gum. And she was like, if it hurts you, like, obviously tell me because it shouldn't. And I was like, okay, 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 okay. And then I let her do the injection. Injections don't phase me at all. I don't care about them. They, if they hurt, I don't really care because it's just like a little prick and I know what it is and it's fine, whatever, it's gonna numb. Anyway, she put it in and I was like having to calm down because I was like, bitch, I'm not ready to have a screw put in my gum. Um, but like literally we, I, we sat up and I was there like this and then I looked at her and I was like, so how long? And she was like, uh, I don't know, like a couple, like, uh, depends. And I was like, oh no, I don't mean the screw. I mean like, how long do you put it in? Like, when do you put it in? And I was expecting like 20 minutes because usually it takes like 20, like they leave me for a long time when they put injections. So I kind of like expected that from past experiences. And she was like, oh no, now. And I was like, now? <laughs> right now <laughs> and she was like yeah and i was like wow that was super quick and she was like i was like are you sure it's no me no and she was like yeah korea it's korea we work really fast and i thought that was really funny but like whatever anyway um what was his name anyway she put it in <laughs> that's what she said and so it got numb and then i was freaking out but i was choosing to trust her because she told me i could trust her so i was like you know i'm gonna trust you if you tell me i can trust you i'm gonna give you that option you know lose my trust see ya <laughs> goodbye but <laughs> yeah when she put it in did not hurt a single bit and that shocks me like i felt pressure and i could feel her going like screwing it i guess i feel like i could feel that and i was like 
really tense the whole time because I was scared it was gonna hurt me because I'm just had I've had that experience and I was just expecting it, but it didn't. Like <laughs> gained my trust. That's how you gain trust. Um. So yeah, love her, love her for that. So I've got a screw. Waited a month. Okay, let me explain why she put the screw. The screw is for the implant that will go there later. She said that the tooth behind it is like going like this from the root so it needs to go like this so that it doesn't affect the rest of the mouth um so to train it she needs to do that right so she did that and the second thing is like the gaps right so i had i had a gap like right here it's still there a little but it was way more obvious the other day and then also my middle teeth they started to open up a little bit and i could see through them and i was like so I didn't say anything to her because I was like, she knows what she's doing. And then this month when I went back, which was yesterday, I, did, I forgot to say anything, but like I, I could tell that's what she was fixing anyway. But she did a whole lot to, yesterday. It felt like a lot because I was like, this is really tight. And it felt like she was constantly like doing really heavy maintenance stuff. Um, and so what she did was she changed my wires, I guess. So they're a little tighter. But also with the screw, she put something on top of it, like a glue thing. I don't really know. And then she put like, a, I think a wire around it and onto this tooth in, in front of it. So it's like holding it or pulling, I don't really know. But then there's like a spring in between the gap now where the implant will be. Um, there's a spring there, like a really big spring from both sides. So that's what all the heavy duty stuff was on top half of my mouth. <laughs> On the bottom half of my mouth is where it's like really, it's a lot. Um, she put another huge, like another thick wire on top that goes like, just on, sits on top of them. Um, and then like some wires, I guess, that go around and then like, I don't know, something like that. I don't, I don't really understand it. Um, but it's really big wire, I can feel it and it's gonna be hard to clean. I hate these wires because they just feel hard to clean, you know, to get around. And what I didn't notice until last night or this morning when I looked at it really closely is that I have elastics. I have elastics going all along the braces, but they're clear so it's really hard to see. I can't see them unless I really look and I've been told that elastics are like quite painful to have on for at first and it's true. Last night was not fun because like it just really hurts and to bite as well. That's the other thing that I need to fix in is my bite. My bite is very like weird and um uh, one of the te the bottom teeth like they it hits the top tooth the left side and that's a problem So she's trying to fix these and I think she's trying to pull them down so that they don't stick up in the middle as much And they go down. Uh, I think that's what all this is about on the bottom half I, 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 One I didn't do anything <laughs> So I'll try and show you I'm really sorry I, I ate some like chicken pieces that are really soft by the way because I can't eat anything like super heavy But yeah, like I don't know they always look so much better after I go to the dentist like like usually I'm not. anyway that's <laughs> attractive that's the thing and there's a thing there a spring there ew i'm sorry this is so unattractive i hate i hate everything ah oh my god light <laughs> and then here's the wire there's like another wire on top right and then these like going along let me see if i can show you going along is you can't see Anyway, there's no gap there anymore really, but going along all of then around here, I can feel them too, is the clear elastics. And they, they kind of go like this, I guess. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. Um, So that's like everything that is like major, That's that major that has happened in my mouth. <laughs> and you have to clean it. You have to like brush around it, otherwise it gets gunky. It's like a piercing. She said it's like a piercing in your ear where you have to clean around it. Like, you know, you have to, put effort into cleaning it a little otherwise it gets like yeah um and it can fall out she told me that it can fall out if it does and i need to just go back and get it put it back in and i was like that's freaky and it hasn't fallen out thankfully yet but whatever so this is what it looks like so there's oh my god you can see my dog in the thing okay anyway this is my this is where the implant will be but this is the screw right and then this time I guess she put something around it because it did hurt a little bit and I could feel it and I was like, ugh, she's like, does it hurt? I was like, yes, and then I didn't feel it after that, so I don't know. I think something goes around this and then onto this tooth on the bracket and then in between here is the the spring type coil thingy bracket. Um, yeah, so this is 
all this is going on right there at the moment. But yeah, my bite is definitely different right now, which I'm glad because I can only feel this area, mostly these teeth, t t these teeth touching, but not really this as much, but I can a little bit. But it means that these aren't hitting these teeth as much anymore. So that's really great for me. <laughs> and that is so unattractive. Uh, yeah, I still have the blue things and I hate the crowns so much. Like the temporary crowns, they've been on there for ages and I feel like they're just disgusting. I can't wait to get actual crowns put back on, but I can't have those until after the braces because otherwise it's gonna like ruin them, I guess. Um, yeah, like you can see how like it's discolored and stuff and it's just not, doesn't feel good. Uh, and these blue things are still there. And I still have those things. I hate those things because they like rub against my tongue. I mean, my te my tongue's used to it now, but like sometimes I play with it so much that it hurts my tongue and it's really annoying. So yes, anyway. <laughs> wow, my mood is completely different to last night. I want to show a clip from last night, like how I was feeling. Nighttime is not a good time for me right now. <laughs> I have issues. I have serious issues. I'm just gonna admit that right now. Like, and, and just accept it. Like, maybe someday I'll make a video about all my issues. <laughs> Any more questions? I will answer in the comments. Uh, I will make a price video at some point. But a little thing right now is that I pay like fifty thousand won every time I go. If they, if it's like an actual session, like I do that every time because that's like the maintenance and stuff and the change and stuff, whatever. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of information that I need to gather for that, uh, for the money side of it all. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to the people who like these videos and support them and ask for them. Um, I appreciate that. It makes me feel better about the fact that it gets dislikes. So. Please subscribe for more. Um, I'm a multi type of video channel. I don't upload one type of video. Stay for the stay for the personality. Sickening personality. I'm joking, it's really not that sickening, but like mm. one thing I just wanna add is that um I hope you're all staying safe. Uh quarantine, all that jazz. Uh I live in South Korea just to confirm that. Um and it's not as bad here anymore, the the virus like so um we can go outside and we do go to work still but like it's just reg like controlled a bit better i guess and korea's obviously handled it pretty well considering and other countries compared i guess so it's not as huge of a deal and we are very safe we wear masks everywhere and we have hand sanitizer everywhere <laughs> that you like you go to a shop and they have hand sanitizer etc um so I go to the dentist still monthly, um, once a month. They never tell me not to or anything. And when I go in, like I use the sanitizer, etc. I just don't want anyone to think that like it's a different situation. I don't really know. Maybe I shouldn't be going, but like nobody's told me not to. And I like to think that I stay inside enough to prevent it. Like I, I barely ever go outside <laughs> ever anyway, so. And I'm clean, so I think it's fine. Anyway, don't judge me. Okay, thank you. Update finished. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.